If you're a Ledger user, you might find that you're receiving more spam than ever. In this video, we'll discuss why and how to prevent yourself from being scammed in the future. And for more information on Ledger, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. In July 2020, Ledger revealed a data breach that exposed over a million customers' emails. The breach was found during a bug bounty program, and even though Ledger fixed the issue immediately, unfortunately, it was just too late. It's during this time, hackers managed to gain access to a database containing the personal contact details of Ledger's e-commerce clients, such as their email addresses, first and last names, home addresses and phone numbers. And at the time, Ledger reported that hackers had only stolen the personal data of 9,500 customers. However, unfortunately, this wasn't quite correct. And since the breach, hackers have now published the hack data and exposed phone numbers and home addresses of more than 270,000 Ledger users, plus more than a million customer email addresses. And there's been a host of phishing attempts released to Ledger customers, and even some threats to customers demanding money or physical violence. So although it's unlikely that due to the breach, hackers will be able to siphon tokens from your hardware wallet, you could compromise your own funds by falling for one of their many phishing attempts. And this isn't just isolated to Ledger. Trezor have also recently tweeted that there's a malicious app in Google Play in an attempt to scam their users. Even though it looks legitimate and has 235 reviews, this is not the official app. And Hugh Carp, the creator of Nexus Mutual, also recently got hacked with a compromised version of Metamask. And that tricked him into signing a transaction that redirected all his NXM tokens to an attacker-controlled address. So in light of all of this, how can you prevent yourself from being scammed? Well, Ledger have created a handy page and an article advising their users on what to look out for and some tips for stopping the scammers. First, as they state here, stay calm and try not to panic. This is what hackers prey on by users making rash decisions. Be aware that your funds are safe as they're stored offline and that the data breach under no circumstances affects the security of your device. And not just with Ledger, but in crypto anywhere, never share your recovery phrase or your private keys. Not only with Ledger, but with anyone ever. With access to this phrase, someone could have full control over your funds. They also say to strengthen your access security. So if your email has been compromised, make sure that you change your password and use a strong, secure password. You should also enable two-factor authentication wherever possible with products like Google Authenticator. And as I mentioned, there's also been some threats of violence to users claiming to have personal addresses, etc. However, scammers will always try the easiest way to steal money and send out emails to a high number of customers without having to risk physical contact. So although these have been reported, there's not a report that I'm aware of of anyone being physically attacked. If you have large amounts of crypto on your device, they advise to keep it away from your home, just as you would if you had millions in cash at your home. You can also add an extra layer of protection by adding a second backup like a passphrase on your device. Also consider splitting up your recovery phrase into three sheets so that you can store that in three different locations. Then you simply bring them together to form up your recovery phrase, or bring just two together just in case one gets damaged or lost. They also state here to never validate a transaction on your Nano if you are not the author of this transaction. Scammers can get you to download a fake Ledger Live Manager that could trigger a transaction on your Nano, which you must reject. Now I personally have issues with updating my Ledger Live which means that I have to go to the website to download the latest version. However, instead of using a Google search, I'd recommend bookmarking the official link and adding it as a favourite. And always double check your links are correct too. Now, if you're informed that your ledger has been deactivated, just ignore it, as ledger can't block or deactivate your device. And as part of one of the phishing attempts that I've personally seen, emails were sent out with the domain that contained legda as opposed to ledger. 
these subtle mistakes are a surefire way to detect a scam. And just be aware that the authentic Ledger domain names are ledger.fr, ledger.com, ledgerwallet.com and ledger.zendex.com. And lastly, Ledger will never contact you via text or call. With more spam and phishing emails ahead of many Ledger customers, always expect the worst and assume that it is a phishing attempt. Never click on any links or download and check out the official social media channels such as their Twitter, Facebook and Instagram accounts. And Ledger also have some ongoing phishing campaigns that they're aware of. In total, they state that they've shut down 171 since October 22nd. The ones that they're aware of include fake websites, French text messages and emails about breaches all requesting your recovery phrase. There's generic ransoms with threats to invade your home. And another that I've been personally targeted for are for emails around new KYC rules, even though Ledger don't actually require you to submit any. And there are so many more phishing attempts around. And these are just some during December. Now, if you are worried, you can contact Ledger customer support or you can report these to Ledger via their site too. Now, whilst I'm on the subject of all of these, as I said, this isn't just isolated to Ledger. Just be aware that phishing is getting more and more sophisticated in general. For example, you'll also find people will attempt to impersonate me in the comments of my videos, asking people to invest or call a premium rate number. Please note that I will never request this. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks and I'll see you soon.